Hi everyone, so today we are here with another of uh, Hui Shan's project. So this is another expensive tank, but notice that it's quite small. So Hui Shan is going to explain to us yeah. why so much money was spent on this and how it's so good. Okay, so this tank is about 77 cm by 40 cm in uh, depth and then the height is 60 cm. So it's rather small. Yeah. Um, it is our first tank built in 2023, the okay, first okay. one that we went in. Uh, so just want to let you know that the when the first when the customer approached us slightly around end November, December, when he called us in, actually the cabinets were already built. So he just left a ah, hole okay, actually okay. here so for he, the tank. So he wanted the tank in this particular location yeah. with a limited size yes. and he wanted to keep a lot of things inside. Yes. So that's why it's quite challenging for you. Correct. And that you have to second put tank. a lot of things. Yeah. So it has to support fish, corals, everything with yeah. the chiller, everything basically under here. Yes. So there was a lot of uh, and squeezing I think, to do. I think you'll be very <laughs> shocked when I open the sum because yeah. you'll realise that wow, it's actually a very small tank with a lot of good gadget in there. Okay. Yeah. One time investment, but well worth the money. Yeah. 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 But just for my point, if you're really going there, of course I would find this size a little bit small. Mm -hmm. um, but I mean, he's limited by the space yeah, because the he only had the space reason, here. So that's okay, but yeah, we'll so, see how we make it work. Uh, okay, Hui Shan, so can you explain to us what's gone into this tank? Uh, maybe start from the top, then we go down. Okay. So what's what's the lights he's using? Uh, he's using an Offet uh, V4 icon. Okay, so yeah. it's, so it's, top it's, of the line stuff again. There's enough space here, right? Because the shelf you said was mid earlier. Yes. So just enough space? I would say just enough. Of okay. course, we have to control the intensity mm. as we go along. Um, of course, this is spec for up to uh, 30 cm to mm, 45 cm okay, above okay. Uh, okay. tank height. Yeah, okay, so for this, what rock and what sand did you use? This is uh, micro rock and then live sand. Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay. So one other thing that we were challenged was actually you see that this pipe is coming out. Ah, okay, uh, okay. Generally speaking, whenever we build a tank, we want the pipe to be inside the box. So what you see is just a small little outlet coming out like uh -huh. that from the box. Yep. But because of that really tight space, mm -hmm. and we wanted to maximise how much he can see, okay. we have to compromise by building a smaller overflow box. And then the customer was like, ah, okay, okay, we'll okay, be okay, okay to okay. see one little pipe. So the pipe comes from still inside? Uh, yes, still inside. So it then comes from it comes, within the box, then it comes Yeah, it turns over. out like that. Okay, okay so in the sum... I'm gonna show you what's going see. on in the sum. Ta-da! Wow, this is a lot of equipment in a really tight space. So, it's a lot of expensive, yeah. <laughs> good high-end <laughs> equipment in a very tight space. So, just a brief overview, what does he have inside here? Uh, so he has an Alcatronic. Okay. He has obviously the skimmer, the pump, mm -hmm. uh, refugium, uh, reactor. Not okay. even just a refrigerant, but actually a reactor. This is an LG reactor. LG reactor, okay. yeah. And then the dosing pump. Okay. Uh, so of course you know where he's going, right? He's gonna go for something that is very low maintenance, let the equipment handle everything for him. So if mm, I can show okay. you what's going on here is that when, again, the cabinet was already done, right? So we really had to take measurements to the MM. So, so again, how, how big is this? Two and a half feet? Oh yeah, 77 cm. Okay. Minus all that, we okay. only left with maybe 68 mm, okay. cm. Okay. Because you can see like, she even has the auto top off compartment yes. built into the sum. So, yes. well, there's really very little space for a skimmer <laughs> and, and, and everything else. Yeah. So one saving grace was that because his cabinet was already built higher, he has actually quite a nice mm. headroom. So when I work, I try to explain to customers by headroom is that we want to build this at least 900 mm. Yeah, okay. You don't want to be lower, although sometimes lower looks mm. nicer, more sleek. But let me just show you, right? I'm trying to get in here and take the skimmer and work around here. I really need all this head space. Yeah, so he's even got a UV on, which okay. is great. Um, yeah, so... Actually, he's got everything that he requires yeah, okay. every day and we're quite happy about it. Okay. Of course, the pipelines and the wires are still not going to give us space to do cable management. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be tricky for him as mm. well. But okay, we tried to use this space. If you can see at the end, yeah. um, he has a recess into the wall. Okay. So we use that for uh, all the, all the, the plugs. plugs and everything. And yeah, if, initially he wanted the chiller to be inside too actually just for <laughs> aesthetic but, but chillers are a bit bulky so they, uh, no way yeah <laughs> it would have been no way so i've managed yeah. to convince him to put it outside so yeah, yeah now we are i think I am more comfortable Okay. Yeah, to build something that yeah. is long term. But I love that uh, you still use the aluminium profile even though the tank is small. Ah, yes. Okay, so because it's highly, highly customised, mm. although I said before that if it's 4 feet and above, would I then suggest aluminium? But because it's so customised, mm -hmm. um, woodworks would be super complex. Mm. And then the good thing is that you can just add shelving Correct. and you can mount things to it. Yeah. So 
Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's very, so very flexible. So we mounted the UV, we had this dozing shelf, we have the Alcatronic shelf. Yeah, so the this was really yeah. quite good for us. The and best part, it doesn't this. break. We even have to consider that we can maximise a L shape coming out so the sum can actually come out even bigger. Okay. So you realise that we even maximise to even like just so Another much. Another two inches of we, we uh, water. It, we wanted it badly. Yeah, okay. so it was quite... Uh, and yeah, of course aluminium okay. can allow us to do that. So what's the maintenance like for this tank? Is it simple? Uh, well, as with all the equipment stuff, mm -hmm. usually the maintenance might not be coming from water changes, mm -hmm. but it will be managing all the equipment that okay. he owns. And yeah, you got to be a bit more tacky to yeah. be able to handle that, lah, which obviously you are really good at. But with the excess, uh, there's no problem. You can take out, put new things. Mm. You know, when a new skimmer comes out with a better pump or whatever, you can change it. <laughs> lah, so. yeah. And when this Alcatronic needs to be serviced, I think you will want to remove it also. Yes. Okay. Okay. So yeah, that's a brief look at the tank. So. Hope you enjoyed this video. Mm. So we will come back again when there's some livestock inside, some fish, corals, and there's another video where we'll talk to the owner about why he wanted the tank. So just look out for that and please like, comment, subscribe. 